Hello. Welcome to Spring Banner Forge Lines Forever. That fiend's low again. Map is stacked. Ooh. I have to reclaim closer. Let's see. Okay. Did I reclaim quite close? This. This is about the same amount of reclaim it is a bit further. Uh, let's see, there's only a few big chunks here. And then there's this big group over here. Slow has... I mean, I feel like this is more than what's next to Mephi. But it is slightly further away. Hmm... I don't know if it's stacked really, I think it's just, uh, just different, you know? Anyway, we're on the cold place. Again, Seraphim for the Zolo, and UEF for Effie. Let's see how these guys decide to play it. We had a couple of casts on this map featuring Mephi, but we had Ajax playing. Will be interesting. See how Zolo approaches the map as it always is. Got some manual reclaim. Mephi doing the old Ajax uh, move with this engineer to get some reclaim and not make a naval factory. Slow is going for a fast naval factory and also as an attack move engineer to reclaim. I think this is better than doing some manual stuff at the start. He can just move this guy around and uh, will work very well. He can move him around as he runs out of reclaim in his vicinity. We have a tank at the top for Mephi and one slipping past for Zlo. Still has not built this mech. Zlo relying heavily on reclaim now. So this mech is heavily delayed and he actually didn't really need to delay it because he has a full energy bar anyway so Building the building the mechs would only help him. We're seeing first scout and then ten entities. Slow is one of the only players who does not really use the repeat order. He would just queue up tanks as he needs them, queue up entities as he needs them. I have a Selene, I wonder if he'll do the old cloaking trick with the Selene. Might not get the chance now. Scout overhead should help this tank out. If he can uh, micro pass. Oh, the bomber from Mephi. There goes one engineer and a lot of damage on these B gens. He came down this way looking for expansion engineers. Who who was it that coined that term? Uh, what was it? Expansioneers? <laughs> Seem to remember that from some caster or something. It's quite a funny name. And you get two kills on that bomber and that's all. Slow actually did some small repair on this P gen so that it wouldn't die and cause a chain reaction and if a, a second bomb was to land on it. So that is a good trick to know to um just repair a pgen slightly with your ACU after a bomb drops so that a second bomb will not actually kill them. Nice micro there. So he aimed for expansioneers, but you can't get raided if you don't expand. Pro tip. So slow, taking it very easy on the expansion. Going quite slow, focusing on his base, using a reclaim to get his factories up and stuff. But uh, we have a lot of tanks now moving to the bottom for Mephi. Can Slow find a way past and catch this engineer? If he could, it would be really nice. These two tanks would be totally worth it. But Mephi looks to be... Oh, he's super aware. He's, he's afraid for this guy. And so he's going to let his army deal with it. Frig it out. And he's going to make a second frigate. I think actually... Yeah, he's only has one queued up. I think after that point, he should just be. If the enemy has no no navy, there's no point in building more than a couple of frigs. You should really just 
it's I would just be making engineers to reclaim and have more build power. But we have one more frigate queued up. It does give extremely nice radar coverage, you can see, and uh, also radar coverage from frigates costs nothing. If we look at a, say, a T1 radar, you can see it's only a bit more. It's not that much more than a frigate, and it costs 20 energy to run. Frigates also, you gotta realize, are 270 mass for Seraphim. The costs are slightly different between different races or factions. But uh, it's generally in or around this 270, 250, 290, I think, are the costs. So that's quite a few tanks. That's uh, like five tanks or even a bit more. So you got to be wary of investing in frigates when you have a big land battle to fight. We have this low coming in, and he actually just annihilates Metfi's air there that was idling. <clears throat> Now he really wants to catch this bomber. And you can see very slow expansion to the bottom from Zlow. He has a lot of mechs missing and he's going to miss even more. The bomber takes out an engineer and also some reclaim. So yeah, from that uh, expansion you can see Mephi with almost double the, the income because he has, well, almost double the mechs. But Zlow has mid firmly locked down and I think in this scenario he's just got to recognize that it's a uh, survival gameplay now don't over tech make sure you have enough spam that you don't get overrun he's going for t2 now but I think Mephi well Mephi being careful putting on some pressure he didn't see the upgrade so he wasn't deliberately aiming for the ACU to cancel that upgrade but uh, still, just generally applying pressure was enough to get slow to cancel that. He was quite far forward while upgrading there. We have a lot of land spam. Mephi recognizing that he needs to just put a lot of pressure on and try and win a lot of mexes on the land. As you can see, he's doing. He's done. He's causing massive problems on the bottom here with this uh, expansion being denied needs to uh, get a factory up here as he's doing as quickly as possible and get engineers out to get the reclaim because Lowell has so much to uh, to work with here that it's uh, it's really he has so much reclaim here that he can deal with uh, not having the expansion for for a while at least he needs does obviously need to get it back slow quite detached from his army that can be dangerous but actually he's getting a good fight out of it the tanks killing arties which are obviously gonna die pretty quick and we have similar army sizes here so Mephi has more tanks coming but uh, he's much closer to Zlo's production which is impressive uh, it's quite a few factories he has up. Now it looks like he can retake the bottom as Mephi's committing all his tanks to the top and uh, the bottom is now actually exposed quite badly. There's no tanks down here, no PD. So this army could do a lot. He needs to send um, a few engineers to the bottom. He's sending two right now. Even more would be good actually to uh, expand as fast as possible, get a factory up quickly and get some more reclaim, get some more tanks going. Still, Orange Tire is a massive uh, advantage in terms of generated mass, but if we look at reclaim, it's low as 3,000 mass ahead, which, which uh, is basically making up for this difference in mass extractors. The, the reclaim is much closer together in the water than it is on the land and he has not run out at all yet he's still very large amounts of reclaim to take here we can see him placing these frigates in 
locations to let them see how many tanks are coming, where they're coming from. One down here in the corner would actually be good to see. And he is actually placing one there now. I think he should make uh, more engineers for reclaim here instead of more frigates. Because at this stage, there is no hope of Mephi getting back into the water. So Mephi has to recognize that, yeah, he needs to end this game sooner rather than later, really. I think. And he's quite low on HP. We're at five and a half thousand now. It's low, 6,700. He's got a bit of an advantage in HP. But um, if he has a slight advantage in Federancy, he already has his first vet level. He has 25 kills. He's low only on 14 kills, halfway to his first vet. A lot of reclaim being left here, and it's close to slow. We could see some attack moves, I think, would be good from the factories to get some engineers reclaiming. And this is just microing. There's a lot of arties in Slow's army right now. Quite a lot. And they're really, really good in these kind of battles. It forced the ACU to constantly be microed. Otherwise, you're going to take a ton of damage. Even if you are microing, you're probably still going to eat some if there's 15 arties shooting at you. Factories going up at the front, you can see constantly trying to keep his mass bar low, put everything he can into uh, into mech, into uh, factories and tanks. I think he has a bit too much power right now, to be honest. See, he's draining. Uh, how much is that? 180 power, and he still has under plus 200. So uh, I think at some point it's time to attempt. A commander upgrade with this much power. Also difficult to do that when there's so many arties which can come and focus fire you. And also the problem would be all this reclaim would be left. And in the time he goes to make the upgrade, that reclaim could be all gone. We have a score advantage for Mephi. Actually it looks like he did defend the bottom or perhaps Zlow did not use his army to attack here. I'm not sure what happened exactly. But Slow still struggling to expand to the bottom. Hasn't got a factory up. We can see engineers dying here. And now oh, Mephi needs to move before these arties land. A huge amount of tanks in range of him now. And he is eating a lot of damage from these arties. Oh my god. Goodness, I think he could be dead here. Oh no. He's very low, there's more RT shots about to land. Here they come. Oh, oh. Damn. That RT. Well. Well played from Slow. And this was quite different to the to the uh, this games between Mephi and Ajax, where there was a very strong advantage for one player after the very early game, and slow so playing it uh, quite differently. So he only made one naval factory. I think that's a key distinction in the other games. We saw like two naval factories going up very early. Slow made one naval factory, made a few frigates. Mephi never really contested the water at all and uh, didn't use his ACU to get back into the water. Decided to go for pushes. Mephi, Mephi had a lot of expansion here for a long time, much more though, so than, <coughs> than Slow. His low is very slow expanding to the bottom, but it, he just offset that with all this basically free mid reclaim. He did invest in some frigates. You can see there's only five here though, so that's about 1,000 mass. 
and uh, that wasn't enough to put him too far behind in the in the T1 land battle. Mephi, you can see he did a great job uh, getting all the reclaim on the land that he could get. Maybe towards the end he overbuilt power, and uh, but slow also got most of his expansion done and. Yeah, he survived long enough that I think from here on, with all this reclaim, Mephi would have had a very hard time uh, getting back into this game. Slow also, you can see here, gets a few mexes off this, so that's some other offset for this expansion. So the one naval factory is enough to uh, not put him too far behind in land and also secure the navy. No reaction from Mephi, unfortunately. Maybe he needed to reclaim this factory or get some Torp defense and his own factory up or something. But, uh, yeah, well played from Zlo. Quite impressive how he just maintained, maintained himself up here. And also, Mephi was fighting extremely prolonged battle uh, closer to Zlo's base than to his own base and uh, that's always a difficult battle to win the longer it goes on the worse it seems to get for you if you're on Mephi's side it slows closer to production closer to getting the reclaim and makes it very difficult to get an upgrade because you have to retreat away and leave the reclaim behind and lose your position so nicely played from slow and that's it from me thanks for watching let me know what you think of these shorter casts uh, if they're interesting uh, send me more casts watch Patrick's video on balance changes and play some beta and that's all from me see you next time